I want to talk about a subject that's pretty sticky, pretty tough, which is that if you as a parent feel like your child is rejecting you, you may have done something that hurt them, maybe put a limit, maybe you regret it, uh, or maybe um, they're shutting you out for different reasons that you don't know what they are and you're feeling like you're really set off course as a parent. Maybe you're feeling like, oh, I'm disconnected and she doesn't want to be with me. She doesn't even say hi to me when she goes to from the living room to the bathroom or when she doesn't say goodbye to me when she's leaving for school, things like that. I often find that parents are, they become very solicitous of the child. Like they're saying, hey, will you see me? Will you acknowledge me? Are you ready to connect with me? And the child is not ready. And maybe even the parent's emotionality or their desire to connect comes off as needy. And the child is then isolating and choosing to actively stay away from the parent. And the more the parent is solicitous, the more the child is biting and rejecting. And so sometimes, and I'm not saying that this is a categorical statement for all uh, situations and all parent-child dyads, but you have to believe that you can just, you can, you're okay as a parent. You have to be yourself. You have to take care of yourself. You have to go about your business, whatever it is, whether you're washing the dishes or playing with your other kids or taking care of yourself and not worry so much about whether your child is connecting with you and have faith that they will come to you when they're ready and make an overture. This is certain kids that I'm talking about that the more you try to kind of invade their space and like be um, solicitous of them, they get more biting and more rejecting. Let them come to your space. You can sort of contract your emotionality and your um, desire to connect as painful as it is to be rejected. It's really something that as parents, we need to be able to learn to tolerate. It's painful, but to trust that the relationship underneath is solid enough so that the child is going to be able to come back to you when she's ready, that you're going to be, and that of course, at that moment that you're open, that you're receptive and that you're not going to then gush or try to make up for lost time and make a big deal out of their overture towards you. Just kind of be more matter of fact. And that might be counterintuitive if you're thinking from maybe an attachment perspective that your goal is to be very um, accepting and attuned and empathic and really overt. And yes, that does have a place. But it depends, not all the time, and maybe with certain kids, maybe with certain teenagers at certain phases. But the thing to remember, just you go about your business, you take care of yourself, and you have to have some sort of mantra of it's okay, she's gonna come back to me when she's ready and then I'll be open.